So we're back with the game I love the most, with the CD music. See what I did there? But we're going to go ahead and actually do the tutorials now, but just from looking over the top of them, they just probably won't really help us all that much. It's pretty much like exactly the same as the previous tutorials, but let's go ahead and start them out. We'll just go ahead and do them, probably split it into two episodes or so, just do them straight out and uh, we'll have to wait and see if they actually teach us anything. I did go ahead and play around with the career mode a little bit. I didn't save it, so we'll continue on from where we started off last episode. But there are five different places you can sell off your crops, which is crazy. There's lots of stuff to memorize, because in the last game, there were only two places where you had to really drop off. So, And the map, like you really could remember it. I still remember the map really clearly. That's how much I played the game. But this, I have to learn the map all over again. But I'm sure that soon enough, we'll be champions at it. So what are we actually supposed to do? Drive onto the field, lower the plow. Oh, okay, so we're just plowing it. Just There's no real need to do anything special. Hopefully most of this uh, video won't be actual, uh, won't be just me in the loading screens. So we've got a, this is actually a rather nice looking um, tractor. We've got to pick up the weights to counteract that. Fantastic. Okay. So let's go ahead, change the tool selection. Then what does, ooh, allow create fields. What the hell does that mean? Do that. Limit to fields. Oh, right, I know what that means. Ah, oh, okay, that's actually really good. So what you can do with the plow is you can um, create fields with this. So if you, I'm not sure if you can go over the road, but you can connect fields that, uh, to make them even more bigger. So if you hire a worker, you can tell him to go ahead and just do that. That's really good. So you can make really large ones with the worker, because previously you couldn't do that. Um, so we want to, we don't want to turn the plow, we want to unfold the plow, so X. I thought it would be in the, in the different direction, but okay. And now we have to lower the plow, use V. And then, hey, press it, there we go. Let's actually go into cruise control. And that will Actually, you know what? I don't think you really need to do the whole field so we can just drive around like lunatics, hopefully. But I think it's best not to. I do plow a little bit weirdly, as you can probably tell. This is a really... Sorry, we didn't really miss anything anyway. Actually, I think with the plow you can just drive at whatever speed you want and you'll be all good actually. Let's go drive at the maximum cruise control speed. No, you're not letting me? Fine. Drive. Drive! You starting? There it goes. Looks like his wheels got locked up or something. But also the potatoes, if we actually, yeah, we can access this, nice. There's like the potatoes cost a, and the sugar beets, they don't cost much at all. I'm rather shocked at how little they cost. Oh, whatever. Oh, really? Oh, what? It fell off. So I guess if you drive too fast, the consequences is, is it falls off. That's no good. Okay. This is off to a great start. So now we have to lower it again, and we can keep on driving, but let's get rid of the PDA. Let's go ahead and do all of this. Driving a really weird line. We're already halfway, so maybe we do have to do the whole field, which is a bit of a surprise for the tutorial. If only we could have hired a worker to do this automatically for us. Uh, that's when you know you're getting real lazy. And let's start doing the outside. Also, I am having to do like a little bit of editing to these videos just in terms of the sound. Uh, because when I talk normally, like once when I'm not in a vehicle. You can hear me clearly and, clearly and all that, but I have to change the audio levels a lot once I have a tractor on because the tractors make a very large 
and uh, overpowering sound. So if you guys want to hear me, I do have to lower the vehicle sounds just a little bit. Nothing too drastic. You guys probably can't even tell, to be honest. But I'm just putting that out as a bit of a disclaimer. So if anyone is wondering what is uh, happening, or if you just want to know, then again, if you, something, you, something you don't know doesn't hurt you. Then maybe I shouldn't be telling you because you guys wouldn't know. But I'm just telling you because I think it's... Uh, It'll help you disseminating just the, how the a game sounds. Yeah, really, we're gonna have to pull, pull that just like a keyhole key or a uh, penis on this with you on testicle. Let's go drive that over if we can. Arses oh, want me to do the whole field as well. Oh wow, I completely missed that. Five percent. As if that wasn't ninety eight percent. What do they want me to do? Go over all these little areas. Okay, this should be the finishing line. Well, that's pretty much definitely not how you uh, plow a field, though, to be honest. It's quite shocking. I'm sure any real farmers would be greatly disappointed. Come on, 100%. Yes. Finally. Let's keep driving. Okay, that was a bit uh, overkill. I think we got to the point after the first minute, but so let's go into sowing now. So after plowing, you have to sow the seeds. And I'm probably going to be sowing a lot of canola plants because canola just pays off the best, like in the previous game as well. Okay, let's go here and... Okay, so it's the same field, it's just uh, plowed properly. This is a nifty looking sewing machine. And what is nice is if you can see above the miles per hour our speedometer and all that info uh, we can see our tractor and it shows us what we have actually selected so if I press G there we go the little thing at the back now lights up which is actually really handy and we do have canola look at that okay so what we want to do is lower the mile or lower the soil then we want to we can also put out ridge markers I'm not exactly sure what ridge markers actually do like so we can sort it out evenly or something like do rows properly but we can do them on either side so if we press Z then the other side and then we can press Z again and then it magically disappear properly disappear okay so what we want to do is turn it on actually what do I do all right so on now so it automatically puts out the ridge thing what if I press the ridge marker again there we go. all right let's go to a speed of cruise control 2 which is way too fast. Okay, and I do assume I do have to do the whole field. At least this isn't going to be as confusing as the power. And it should be a lot quicker as well. I also have like, things like petrol to worry about, but like, petrol is not a really big deal in this game. Like, it lasts for so long, it's not going to be like Euro Truck Simulator where you actually do need to worry about your petrol. Like you have so much of it, it's not really going to be bothering us. Okay, now, let's go to this side.
probably is happening to my internet. Not my internet, my computer. It's because I am running so many things probably in the background. And that we are lagging up a little bit. Not exactly sure why that is. Pretty much like every day, I leave my computer on for way too long. There's too many processes running in the background. But we're almost done. Let's go chop it right now. Also gonna have to fix up all these like missing spots. That That'd be pretty easy to cover up though. At least hopefully it'll be pretty easy. Yeah, so we're pretty much done. The sewing's like so much easier though. And you've got 10% left. Probably go ahead and do that one. That would be probably it. Probably won't have to do anything else. No. One more percentage point, let's go ahead and go over there. And that should be the final little bit. And we've only used 90%. Oh, what the hell did we just drive over then? I'm not exactly sure, but obviously it was a missing piece. So we've done the first two. Let's go ahead and do some spraying now. Yeah, so we'll split it, split it up into two sections. We'll probably do six this episode. Because I guess these ones are going to be a little bit easier. Uh, if we have that massive spray, this is going to be easy, easy, easy. Okay, so as soon as the spray is completely unfolded, you can turn it on and start spraying your field and it drive faster than cruise control. Since the field is quite small, you'll be done in no time. Yep. I figure that. So, we better go back in. So, these are the crops. They've uh, started growing very nicely. We're still next to that house. So, we've got to attach that to the back. Oh, they don't, haven't given us any weights. Okay. So, press mouse buttons for additional controls. Oh, okay. Oh, we can... Oh really? Wow, that's cool. We can raise this. Okay, so before we get too distracted, let's go ahead and unfold it, which is going to take a bit of time. Look at all the suspension and all that. That's really cool. Zoom out a little bit. And it's still going to unfold. Yeah, we will be done in no time. It's going to cover pretty much the whole field just like that. Oh wow, it is. Beautiful. A kid X. So now, let's see if we can uh, move it up. Oh, we can, like that. Wee, 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 wee. Okay. I like it up high. So we can actually see the sprayer. Or the spray. There we go. Now let's go to cruise control mode one. Okay. okay we're going to be done in no time. No presto, that was ridiculously easy. I really have to invest in something like this. That's actually get, gonna be quite cost efficient. Although spraying isn't absolutely necessary, so the canola planter is growing quite a bit in the meantime. To improve the eventual harvest, you can fertilize the field with the sprout. So it's not necessary for them to grow, but it improves the harvest, so you get more money eventually. Uh, so let's go harvesting, which is also very fun. Although we know how to harvest, we already did that in the demo and obviously like we did that a lot in the previous game but as for the sake of continuing on with the tutorial we want to see if they teach us any secret tips or anything oh, okay it doesn't look like canola though does it this is already attached or not no, it's not 
So let's just turn it on now. Oh, it automatically lowers. I think I'm sorry. I'm going to go at a speed of 2. And I guess we're going to have to drop all the stuff off over there. With that trailer. Turns damn slow. It's not very agile. Let's just say that. Oh, and they're gonna make me get the trailer a couple of times because we've already half filled up the harvester. Bastards. Now we get ahead and get you. The darts far 50. With the crampe kipper. All these German machinery. I think the arm should automatically. No. Okay, fair enough. Oh no, no, sorry, it's O to pipe out. There's a long pipe. Okay, we're gonna have to keep on driving up a little bit. No, that actually is canola. I thought canola looked a little bit differently. I must have been wrong. You'd think like this trailer would have 18,000 capacity, instead it's got like 17,800 because it's only 51%, whatever. So let's put the pipe back in and turn on the harvester and turn on cruise control yet again and off we go. Well, it wasn't so laggy. Okay. There's not much left anyway. And we're doing quite fine. Lovely dust particles. They, what they have done is they've really improved the dust particles in the game. And something that I've noticed. Um, but apart from that, the graphics are pretty much exactly the same. Like the draw distance, well, I wouldn't really call it a problem, but you see there's like magical lines in the because of the draw distance. Apart from that, I really can't complain about anything. It's more, to me this game is more like Farming Simulator 2011 DLC. Because they, they haven't really changed anything. It's just that they've added a lot more stuff to it. A lot of stuff which would have made 2011 like the perfect farming game. To be honest, this is the perfect farming game. They've pretty much done everything that you could possibly imagine. They've added everything that was in the Platinum Edition of Farming Simulator to this. So. They've done a really good job, it's just that, I don't know, I don't really think it's a completely new game to be honest, it's pretty much exactly the same as 2011, just we've added stuff on. Because so I was expecting a full game's graphic engine to update and like the physics engine to be completely updated as well. To be honest, they haven't really done that. And I was reading a couple of interviews with uh, the marketing guys and they said, oh yes, it's a completely new engine. So no, it's not. It's exactly the same as before. Bit of marketing. But I guess I don't really have to worry about anything, considering how successful this game was and um, just the competition. There pretty much is no competition in this. Like the other company that does games in this area are pretty bad. So, cultivating. To prepare the field soil for the next seed, you can work it with the cultivator, which also isn't very necessary, but we can do it. So this gets rid of the uh, the little dud roots and all that stuff. So it prepares it for the plowing, I guess. So after we cultivate it, we plow it again, I guess. Okay. 
So I'm more driving around pointlessly and aimlessly. So the touch knot's not. That looks like another piece of intimidating machinery. I'm surprised they haven't given this some weights because that looks like it weighs down from behind a little bit. So let's start unfolding it. I wonder if we've got to turn it off or turn it on or what. Okay, so it's on now. That looks cool. Let's go to speed two. Oh wow, we can actually do this really quickly. Sweet. Why is it so laggy? Damn you! We're gonna end this episode soon anyway, so it's not really a big biggie. But it is kind of annoying. And I don't wanna... I don't like uploading things that are laggy. Because that's no fun for anyone. But we're almost done. I really gotta restart my computer. It's ch been chugging away. It's definitely a troop in my computer. I leave it on pretty much all day so I don't have to turn it on. Oh man. Alrighty. 80%. Let me do this. That's pretty ridiculously quick. Oh, oh. Definitely slaloming this one. Yay! Now. Time to do some square bailing. Yeah, what else is there? Bail transports. Tutorial chopping corn. Okay, I've already done planting potatoes. Actually, we'll probably will miss that, skip that, because we did that in the demo. So we'll skip that. Oh no, we harvested potatoes, sorry. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go ahead and end this episode, and then the next episode with the tutorials, which will be the final one, we'll go ahead and do the rest, which I don't think will last anywhere near as long. So until then, I'll see you guys later, keep on farming!